Okay, hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of On Point EDC. And it's been quite some time since we have an update in this segment, and I thought it would only be right to actually address um, bolt action pens in this particular episode. Now, this is going to be more of a kind of ramble um, here. It's not going to be a formal review of these two, three wonderful pens um but i know as somebody who's been on the market looking for kind of a fun edc pen something that kind of you can fidget with and have a good time with but something that also aesthetically looks good and functionally feels good in hand uh, these are pretty much uh, my top choices these are the ones that um, i spent the money on i did the research i found them obviously my channel is not huge for edc um, i do have uh, pretty uh, good views on my general kind of EDC pen ramble that I did uh, not too long ago But uh, my my channel isn't predominantly pens, So it's not like these companies are sending me pens and I'm just trying them out These are the ones that you know drew me in enough to where I pulled the trigger and spent the money And I think the nice thing here is that you get a decent selection here for us to talk about They're all with different materials. We have of course the Keras customs bolt there and it's a special um model where this is actually an anniversary kind of limited edition um, and it's actually made out of aluminum then in the middle there we have an all stainless steel model um, from tactile turn this is the glider um, and then down at the bottom we have the urban survival gear uh, ti scribe so I think all these are really outstanding in different ways I'll let you guys know kind of what my new favorite is and you know where i think one will outdo another and depending on your priorities maybe um although i might choose a different one to be my favorite you might uh with the feedback uh, think another one might be for you so with that said let's go ahead and uh go ahead and get these pieces in hand and uh just talk a little bit more in depth all right really quickly let's go ahead and do a wristwatch check one of my favorite watches of course uh, the Monta Triumph. I won't talk about it too much, but if you want to know more about it, go ahead and uh, check out my review videos. This thing's absolutely outstanding. Um, and as you're going to see here from my review or, or kind of overview of these bolt action pens, um, you know, I'm a real fan of quality and fit and finish. Um, and then, of course, in design. And I think uh, it's only appropriate that I wear a piece that is just and all those from all those aspects i think knock it out of the park um for a wristwatch uh with the design aspect the fin finish of course and um you know it's just it's nice and of course you can always get him some type of mainstream um pen and and i think even if you want a bolt action one um there's even some more kind of mainstream uh, options that are out there that you can buy from different knife makers and whatnot but the nice thing about these of course they do remind me of knives and that um you know uh, these are just mostly machined by like guys that make things right with their hands so um it's not as much uh more of a design execution like you would get with like let's say a wristwatch where there's very specific types of tooling and machining that can be done that's going to be kind of farmed out even if it's farmed out to switzerland or farmed out to hong kong no matter where it's farmed out to it's you know you, you don't necessarily have to be um huge into necessarily um the, the craftsmanship side to be able to actually get the execution you can just go to the right factory these pieces here are are you know all kind of in-house if we want to use watch terms here um in that oh gorgeous um in that you know all these are, are kind of machined by the guy who designed them the, they got put on paper um a certain way and then they got machined a certain way so really cool um from that aspect um, so let's go ahead and start off with this colorful guy right here, the Keras Customs Bolt, and then this is, you know, uh, the V2, or, and then it's a special edition. Um, so of course I am left-handed, kind of half left-handed, I guess you could say I only really write with my left hand. Everything else I shoot, um, I'm right-eye dominant, everything's pretty much my right, my right's my strong arm. Um, but when it comes to writing, I do use my left hand. Um, so 
really comfortable i do like the grips here it's it's of course smooth but it's not like slick feeling um which is nice and i think uh the way that they did these grooves here uh really um help with that super comfortable and then it's very lightweight because of course it is made out of aluminum and the action is very smooth and you know this is kind of fun to fidget with because not only are you getting the bolt action you're, you're getting a clicker as well right so it's kind of a, a little mixture there but i think when it's unclicked uh, with the the plunger just way up here it's going to definitely be less attractive um, than when it's down here like this a little bit more traditional looking i think it maybe would have been cool if they would have put some type of uh maybe up here some little hashing or something because you do turn that right so it'd be nice to have a little bit of grip there if uh, maybe they put some type of jimping or um ah jimping that's a knife term <laughs> so if you're into knives hopefully you, you caught that if not and you're more into watches then you probably think uh yeah it's a type of hashing in there um or knurling uh would have been a nice touch but i think this is great and the nice thing is it's the right size and of course it's the big red button so you got a big red button you're you're gonna press it darn it and, and you're gonna enjoy it so and then the color scheme of course is gorgeous and then you these come in all types of different colors but this one definitely caught my eye really cool a lot of fun next we have uh this bad boy which oh man this thing is just built like a tank this is in steel you do have other options um as far as the construction goes um but one of the things is this action is just so dialed in and so precise it's just you could just play with that all day but you hear how that even the air this thing's moving so quick it's like the air is yet pushed in there and it has to slide its way back out so you catch a little do you hear that you catch a little air pocket every once in a while because it's just on point um really great and the nice thing is because of the uh you know the little knurling here all along it does have really great grip as well in a totally different way right so kind of the reverse way here you have like the super fine grip but this is stainless steel so the nice thing is it feels super substantial honestly like if it came down to it and i needed to stab someone in the eye with this and use it as a weapon of opportunity um this would probably be the pen that i would use uh i mean i could probably throw this at somebody and do some damage because this thing is just honestly built like a tank you could throw this in a bag and just never worry about it and the cool thing is because of those lines there it almost seems like it's a long one piece but it's actually not it's just machine that good you can see there now that I unscrewed it a little bit um, that it actually is separated but that seam presto changeo disappears when everything is lined up really nicely so love 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 this pen I get so much joy from it <laughs> and all these are pretty much using the same G2 um, uh, you know kind of generic refill but it's 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 a good one i as far as like writing i'm not this isn't some dedicated pen shot where i'm gonna like write everything on them these pretty much all have the same guts inside now here's the newest one here and this thing is just special this is the ti scribe and i just love how just minimalist everything is on this pen um, because of course all the other ones they have a dedicated clicker and these honestly their bolt actions are way better designed than your average bolt action pen where it's going to have a little literally a little knob sticking out and you're just fidgeting with it um, and then this kind of takes it to the next level these ones were also great designs i thought of course moving the actuation to the top which is a little bit more traditional but still having the bolt action is very cool then of course here it's uh, very flat you have the disc there uh, versus an actual um, knob sticking out but here look at that now they've integrated the pocket clip in there and uh, this is all titanium construction this thing just feels so darn balanced and i love titanium i love titanium knives titanium watches um 
it, it, it's a fun material and I think as you can see in this really beautiful stone wash finish this is gonna um, actually you know wear really well as as well it's not something that's gonna look like trash after it's been in your bug out bag for a little while um, and everything is machined you, you know of course you have the machined clip there and look at that it even has like chamfering around everything so it has broken edges look at that chamfer on the cap here so this thing and then of course you have a little bit more of a traditional grip there feels really nice and i love that they did a bit of a polished job there on those inners so it's just super minimalist um very nice and much thinner in the hand in comparison to these two models which are very thick um but the nice thing about a thick pen is it just gives you a little bit more leverage especially if you are on the move you're, you're writing in your notebook or something uh this will definitely is going to feel more at home at a desk but also it's going to be durable and, and lightweight enough and balanced enough to where you can take it kind of anywhere else with you really really nice feels great in hand i'm loving this thing and you know it's it's really because it's the combination of that kind of minimalist aesthetic and the execution is just gorgeous i mean this thing really reminds me of a knife that i recently let me bring into two knives actually that i recently purchased um and that i for me are just wonderful they're just great lookers and I mean, they're, they're, of course, from a functional standpoint, these are outstanding knives. This one is, of course, the Ray Laconico Easy C, um, which is um, from, uh, actually was originally a, um, and still is a custom knife, but this is kind of like the production version of it um, by Monterey Bay Knives. I'll be doing a full review on this piece. Just gorgeous. But as you can see, very minimalist lines, right? Like the lines, this thing is just sexy. This is just cool. I love the little, you know, spot down here. It just really reminds me of that. It just ties in. And it feels like just um, everything just feels so purposeful and uh, just so clean and clear. I just love that look. And then also this piece here um, from Quiet Carry, which is a bit more of of kind of a almost if you're into watches right uh you know about fashion watches um this is almost like a fashion brand of knives because they're just uh you know they're not necessarily a knife guy's knife um but look how slim this thing is and then you again you have everything it's nice and milled the symmetry but then like the little design elements with these little divots here you know there's just something about it. I love the shape of it. It's kind of, you know, very stick-like. And then again, it's just very minimalist, but the execution is outstanding. Boom. Look at that kind of reverse Tonto, um, you know, modified Warncliffe style there and now it's available in Elmax, which is great these originally came out and they were in vg10 i was a little bit hesitant never pulled the trigger but once they were available in Elmax and came into stock i kind of you know couldn't resist the way it shuts it just is outstanding and then again like you know knife terms this is the jimping here right it gives you a little bit of grip because that's a tiny little flipper tab there and and the nice thing about it being small is when it's that means when it's in your pocket it's going to be less obtrusive right and um you know you're sliding your hand down into your pants to grab something you're not worrying about this tab you know stopping you from get, being able to grab your keys or something um but yeah it's just that clean minimalist look and which i love um so also keep an eye out for a knife review there um I love that and that's for me what really makes the TI scribe kind of uh, my favorite it's just because it's it has that minimalist modern aesthetic that I just love man it just looks gorgeous feels gorgeous in hand I mean this thing is just a dream it feels great I, I just love it and I can't really think of any like what would I change I don't know maybe the way that the cap here meets with the rest of it. 
Maybe I would have made it towards evenly spaced or something, or maybe try to use some type of trick like they have here where it kind of disappears. I don't know. I mean, it's it's tough. I think it looks great the way it is. It almost looks like kind of a standard um, plastic pen just from the future. Um, so it's, it's such a, uh, a simple and very recognizable silhouette for you know a nice writing utensil but then you have this great bolt action to it and some people might not even notice it when they see it they might not even realize how to click the pen um you know they might sit here or try to do some twist action or something like that because it's just so well integrated and it's just it's just gorgeous and you write with it it's not in the way or anything like that which is great and then it's the right length you know all three of these are the right length there's some you know edc pens that are more compact um which you know ones that i have also purchased and carry as well but this one you know the nice thing is something like this fits really great and, and both uh, you know all these are something that you could actually use um also in kind of an office setting and not just on the go so for me um, the TI Scribe is just outstanding. It's, you know, of course, a bit more expensive, but wow, this thing, loving it. So uh, let me know what, you, what, what, what am I missing? What type of cool pens are out there maybe um, that I should check out? You guys know kind of what I'm looking for now. What I enjoy is really just the design aspect of it the, and the execution. These are all executed top notch as far as fit and finish go i can't complain i love the design i love the functionality this is probably one of the ones that's like as far as the action goes is probably the smoothest this is like almost if if you're into knives you know what an access lock is where you can just all day open and close it um you know from like a bench made uh like a 940 or a mini grip um Oh yeah, you can just deploy it, and this is like the easiest one to deploy, and 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 kind of put away. Here, of course, you do have that side of it where you know, there's going to be a little bit more. I, this really doesn't touch it because, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. So when you're kind of engaging and disengaging, it's not like it's rubbing on anything, but I get it's not quite there, and and maybe it's just because it's. Because it's titanium, maybe that's it. Um, it's, it's lighter, it's a little bit more hollow feeling, and is it going to give you the same? This thing just feels like a tank because, let's face it, it's a freaking steel spike in your hand. So feels great. And then this one, I'd say maybe is the most fun. Uh, it, this one is the most like a fidget toy um, because you you got you you can do it different ways. You can try it with just your thumb, right? And then you have something to look at, get the focus. You have something to look at there because you're looking at the bolt action while you're doing it. But the action's happening up here. So it, it almost gives you kind of two points of focus, which is a lot of fun. Then if you want, you can do something like this. You know, just mix it up a little bit. You can, if you really want to get crazy and just go click crazy, you, you don't even have to deploy it. You can still pump it if you're bored or something like that, or you want to pretend you're, oh, I'm going to blow you up, right? <laughs> so if you want to do that, you could. Um, but yeah, this one is, is probably the more fun. And then even the color scheme, of course, is, is a lot of fun. Um, really digging that kind of gunmetal anthracite um, finish there really cool and I'm, i love this grip it's super comfortable i'd say for like long use this is one that's going to be very comfortable and of course it's aluminum so it's very light because it's thicker it gives you can get a little bit more leverage on it um and uh i really do like that so with that said let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you enjoy this do you look forward to more kind of edc talk in the future um i'll be talking flashlights knives all that jazz um, in the not too distant future. And of course, I'm going to still be bringing you that watch content. So with that said, um, if you like the video, please hit like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more content just like this. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.